If you're upgrading your home network, mesh routers are one of the best investments you can make. In this head-to-head -head shootout, we're comparing two popular systems that punch above their price, the Euro 6 Plus and the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro. One offers excellent value for Wi-Fi 6 users, while the other brings tri-band Wi-Fi 6C performance into your home. Let's find out which one comes out on top. Hey everyone, I'm Alejandro, reviewer and broadband expert here at Broadband Now. If you're trying to cover a larger space with consistent speeds or just want better performance room to room, this video is for you. Before we jump in, make sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss future broadband guides, Wi-Fi tips, and router reviews. Here's a quick overview of the contenders. The Euro 6 Plus is a mesh system that's sleek and a no-nonsense option for households looking to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6 without breaking the bank. It supports AX3000 dual band speeds and uses Amazon's TrueMesh tech to manage traffic intelligently between nodes. Each unit comes with two auto-sensing Ethernet ports, and it's built with smart home compatibility in mind, including built-in thread and manner support. Setup is simple through the Eero app, and it plays especially well with Alexa-enabled homes. The Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro is Google's most powerful mesh router to date, and it shows. With tri-band AXC 5400 performance, it taps into the new 6GHz band for faster, cleaner channels. The smooth, pebble-shaped design fits easily into any room, and the Google Home app makes setup and management beginner-friendly. Each unit includes two 1 gigabit Ethernet ports, and while that's not multi-gig, it's plenty for most home users. With built-in thread and automatic firmware updates, it's a solid long-term play for anyone serious about smart home integration. To keep things fair, we tested both mesh systems in a 1,000 square foot apartment, placing the primary node in the living room. We ran tests at three distances, 5 feet, which is line of sight, 15 feet with one wall in between, and 25 feet with also one wall in between. Since neither of these routers separate the wireless bands, we only performed three tests for each of the specified distances, which came out to nine tests per router. To perform the test over the gigabit fiber internet connection, we used the same settings and server on speedtest.net to give us fair and accurate results. While we didn't stress the network to its max, we did use the network normally during the test to reflect real-world performance. The Euro 6 Plus may not have the 6 GHz band, but it's a strong performer for homes that rely on 2.4 and 5 GHz. It delivered reliable, stable speeds and managed multiple devices without major slowdowns. When near the router, the Euro 6 Plus managed some impressive speeds. Download speeds average out at 781 megabits per second, with upload speeds not far behind at 750 megabits. Not much changed for the Euro 6 Plus when it came to download speeds at 15 feet away, with an average of 732 megabits. However, upload speeds took a massive hit, averaging out at 490 megabits. At 20 feet away, speeds did drop for the Euro 6 Plus. Download speeds dropped to an average of 591 megabits, while upload speeds dropped even further to an average of 258 megabits. Though speeds were lower when furthest from the primary router in the living room, download speeds did at least remain above 500 megabits, which is not nothing. One of the biggest wins here is how seamless the handoff between nodes felt. The system dynamically routes traffic using TrueMesh, so devices didn't lose connection even as we moved between rooms. That's critical in homes with spotty Wi-Fi coverage or lots of smart devices. Although power users will miss the option to select a specific band to ensure the highest speed, the lack of user input makes this mesh router system a great choice for those who are not so tech savvy. And thanks to thread support, it's ready for matter, meaning your smart home devices can work together more efficiently over time. Now let's look at how the Nest Wi-Fi Pro performed, and this is where Wi-Fi 6C really starts to shine. At 5 feet away, the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro lived up to its name, delivering blistering fast download speeds that average out at 857 megabits per second. Upload speeds were lower by 100 megabits or so, with an average of 754 megabits. Further away at 15 feet, with one wall in between the primary router and the router in the office, the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro managed to deliver an average download speed of 755 megabits. Similar to the Eero 6 Plus, average upload speeds for the Google router dropped at this distance to an average of 490 megabits. Finally, the Google router provided an average download speed of 502 megabits at 25 feet away. While this was nearly 100 megabits lower at the same distance than the Euro 6 Plus, the Google router redeemed itself with an average upload speed of 414 megabits which far surpassed the average upload speed of the Euro 6 Plus. Despite slightly lower download speeds at 25 feet or more than the Euro 6 Plus, the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro router handled dense traffic and longer distances better, especially on the 6 GHz band. The cleaner spectrum meant fewer slowdowns and more consistent throughput when we were further from the router. The inclusion of the 6 GHz band gets the most out of modern devices. For example, the PS5, which is compatible with the 6 GHz band, 
will perform better when using wireless internet at further distances. The 6 GHz band also offers increased bandwidth, improving performance in households with many wireless devices. However, it's worth noting that older devices can't use the 6 GHz band. So unless you're using newer laptops or phones, your results may be closer to the Euro 6 Plus. Another thing worth mentioning about the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro is that the average ping was higher than the Euro 6 Plus ping at every distance we tested. At 25 feet away, we recorded an average ping of 5 milliseconds for the Euro 6 Plus, while the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro had an average ping of 19 milliseconds. With the 6 GHz band supposedly offering lower latency, this did strike us as odd. Ping is likely not a concern for most internet users, except for gamers, who will likely want to take this into consideration. A difference of 15 milliseconds is massive when the gold standard for gaming is a ping of 20 milliseconds or lower. If you're on a budget or already invested in Amazon's ecosystem, the Euro 6 Plus is a fantastic upgrade. It's easy to use, surprisingly fast for a dual band system, and ready for the future of smart home tech. But if you want tri-band performance, faster downloads over 6 gigahertz, and a router that stays fast even at longer ranges, the Google Nest Wi-Fi Pro is the better long-term bet especially if you already use the Google Home ecosystem. Both systems will improve your home internet. The real question is whether you want solid value now or future-proof performance down the road. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Broadband Now for more broadband tips and reviews. Have a mesh router you want us to test next? Drop it in the comments and we'll see you in the next video.